Let's add some detail to our iguana. Our iguana needs some iguana arms. Because lizards have those long legs that crawl all around. <laughs> Have you ever seen a lizard on the trees here in Arizona? I have. And I'm just going to keep outlining the rest of my iguana just so it looks nice. Right. Our long iguana tail. All right. So, I'm adding some detail so you know where its head is. And I'm going to give it some eyes. You know what would be really fun? If it's lizard tongue is sticking out, it's lizard tongue is sticking out. How cool. Since we just did our green iguana, let's add some detail to our green snake. Our snake needs the same things. It just needs some snake eyes. Ooh. Some snake eyes. Ooh, you know how sometimes I think snakes can have light colored eyes? I'm going to add a little bit of leftover yellow paint I have. And once that dries, I'll re-add the black dot. And we need our snake's tongue. Our snake tongue. Let's see. Ah! I don't like snakes. It looks like it's gonna get me. All right, my friends, I am going to show you how to do the koala. So for the koala, we need some gray, but I think I need to make a little bit more gray. So I'm gonna do some on a paint on video. My dad taught me a trick the other day, because he makes plastic bags for a living and they have to print ink. And he said, it's always easiest to add dark to light than light to dark. So I said, oh, thanks dad, that'll help me. Cause when I was mixing last week, I did dark to light and it was very hard to figure out the right color. So I'm going to mix some gray if you want to color gray, or you're cutting out a handprint gray, that's cool too. But I'm going to show you how you can do it with paint. So, you can paint your hand, but that'll take a while. You can use a sponge, but I found that that takes up some of the paint. 
it picks up some of the paint. So I think the best way to do it is just to rub, rub, rub your hand in some paint. Make sure you're doing it where you can't make a mess. This is my art table, so I know if I get paint on it, it is okay. So I'm gonna paint, make sure every single part is really, really wet. Squish, squish, squish. It's like we're making snow angels in the paint. And now, for our koala. For our koala, I want my friends like this and then we push 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 make sure you push down all your fingers especially your thumb that one can be a little tricky and in the middle and then you pick it up we're gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm going to show you how to do the rest let's add some detail to our Koala, our koala. So I'm gonna get some more gray, some more gray. I need to make our koala face. So I'm going to use that as the first ear. Continue on. And then we can color it in. Or paint or cut or glue gray paper. Whatever materials you have. It's your animal. You can get as creative as you want. So we have an ear. On our koala. Right, so I'm gonna add a circle, a little tummy on our koala to show where the tummy is. Where is our koala? I don't know. Hmm. Let's add some detail. Maybe we can figure it out. We're gonna add some ears. At a big nose, because koala bears have a big, big nose. And two little eyes. Ooh. And they're bears. So we are going to add some bear paws at the end of the fingers. Kind of looks like you're painting your fingernails black. Some paws. Hmm. Koalas like to hang out in trees, so we are going to draw our koala in a tree. So, our koala is sitting down. friends back with another animal I'm gonna show you how to make the lion
Let's add some detail to our lion. This is gonna be so easy. We just need our crazy lion mane. Our crazy lion mane. That is what we are adding to our lion. And we need a tail with some orange. And we're gonna add some feet. And we need a face. And a nose at the end. So now I'm going to make a lion's face. There we go. There's our lion. I'm gonna show you another handprint animal because this one is pretty tricky. I don't know if any of my friends know this animal. For the letter N, I'm gonna make a nandu. What is a nandu? A nandu is a kind of ostrich, and that's a bird. It is a kind of ostrich or a bird, and its colors are gray. So it's kind of like making a flamingo, but a little bit different and all gray. So I'm going to make a little bit darker of a color than my koala, just because I want this one to be a little bit different. All right. I think I got enough paint. Now comes the fun, messy part. We're gonna squish, squish, squish our hand in the paint. Squish, squish, squish your hand in the paint. And now, for this one, we're gonna leave a little bit of room at the bottom of our page. And we're gonna put all our fingers together and put our thumb way at the top. Our thumb way at the top. One. Two, three. Rub, rub, rub. Push, 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 push. Ooh. You can even fill in the middle. And for this one, I'm even gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna take my other fingers and I'm gonna do some more this way. And maybe that way. So it has tons of feathers. Let's wait for it to dry and then we'll finish it up. All right, friends, let's turn our Nandu into a Nandu or an ostrich. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some orange and I'm gonna draw a face. I'm just getting some orange and I'm coloring in the head. Then we're gonna take that same orange and we're gonna add it to our legs. Great. Now we need to add more detail. We are going to add a red beak. And we are going to add an 
eye. And I'm going to outline my head of my ostrich. And look at that. There's our Nandu. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the owl. For the owl, I'm going to use some dark brown. And I'm gonna smush, smush, smush. And I'm going to get it all covered in paint. And for our owl shape, I want you to keep your hand closed. And we are going to put our owl right here. Our owl picture is fun because it has really nice scenery. Fill in the gaps just to make it like that and round out its body a little bit. Perfect! Now we're going to wait for it to dry and then finish it up. We're going to add some detail to our owl. I want us to draw some nice Owl wings. And we need an owl head, some owl ears, owl eyes, big owl eyes, and some feathers. Our owl is going to be sitting on a branch. So we're going to put our owl in a tree. And we can color in the rest of the owl. And there you have it. And there you have it. All right, friends. Our next animal that I wanted to show you is a rabbit. A rabbit. So I made a nice light brown color. It's a little bit darker than you see on the camera. Brown and white. And this is gonna be a little bit different. So, we don't need to paint our entire hand. I am going to paint my palm. That's that big middle part, so not the fingers, just the palm. Ooh, I made such a good color. It matches my skin perfectly. I happen to make my skin color. You can barely tell. I'm painting. It just looks like my hand is a little wet. That is so silly. So we have to make sure we only have it all around the palm. And then you're just gonna push Push, push, push the middle of your palm. And we just have a little round shape. So now, we only need one finger. You're just gonna take one finger. I'm gonna take the end of my pinky to do it. I'm just gonna paint the end of my pinky because Miss Kugler has a little cut on her finger. And I didn't want to get any paint in there. So I'm painting the end. 
And then I just need one, two. One, two ears if we want. I think I, my bunny ears need to be a little bit bigger. One. You can move your finger back and forth. Two. And you can fill in the space if you've got a little bit. Now we're on V for vulture. I'm gonna show you how to do this one with a handprint. And Miss Coogler has to paint her hand black. So it's going to be pretty messy. You can get a paintbrush or a sponge. Also makes it really easy to get a lot of paint. You can get a lot of paint on there. You just get a sponge and rub, rub, rub. So, I'm going to put my hand down. And for this one, I want my thumb out. Ready, one, two, three, and press. Press, 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 press. Press, press, press. And, that was a good one. I better go wash this. All right, friends, for this one, we are somewhere different because we are going to use a different part of our body. I am tired of using my hands. I'm tired of using my hands because we're all the way at the end of the alphabet. We're on that is a squirrel that stands up on its legs. X E R U S. So for this one, we are going to use our foot. Our foot. So I have Miss Kugler's foot. And I'm going to do this one sideways. So once your foot is painted, you are going to do a footprint. And push, push, push. Push on your toes. Push on your feet. Push on your heel. Wow. And now, you can fill in the rest And then we're gonna wait for this to dry, and I'll show you how to add more detail, like the tail. All right, friends, here is our Xeris. That is just a squirrel that likes to stand up. So I'm going to give it some squirrely eyes, a little squirrely mouth. And it's got its little squirrely body. And our toes are its little squirrely feet. We can make little squirrely hands to show that it's standing. Hmm. And what are we missing? What are we missing? What does a squirrel have? Ah! A bushy, bushy tail. You can make your tail with your hands. Or you can make it any way you want. Our bushy. Bushy Xeris. Good job. Since I have this black paint out, I am going to add some detail to my zebra so that way it looks a little bit more like a zebra.
friends. Does this look like a zebra now? Amazing! This is my zebra.